Hello, my name is Greg Reichelt and I'm the Instructional Technology Specialist here in District 207. I'd like to demonstrate how to interpret a student's standard space gradebook and compare that to a traditional gradebook. This student is enrolled in a number of courses that uses a traditional gradebook including Biology, English 1, Intro to Business, PE, and Robotics. The courses this student is enrolled in that uses a standard space gradebook are Italian 1 and Math 2. You can distinguish between a traditional gradebook and a standard space gradebook by expanding the course menu on the grades page in Infinite Campus. If when expanded you see semester grade, that course uses a traditional gradebook. Whereas if you expand a course menu and see a list of standards, this course uses a standard space gradebook. Before we dive into a standard space gradebook, let's review how to navigate a traditional gradebook in Infinite Campus. To start, I'm going to click on the semester grade of a course that I'd like to learn more about. You can see this course has two categories, formative and summative, which are weighted together to form the student's grade. The weights of each category are given, and in this case, formatives are weighted at 20% and summatives are weighted at 80%. If you expand a category, you can see all of the assignments given within that category, the due dates of the assignments, and the total amount of points the student received on the assignment. If you click on an assignment, you can see more details about that assignment, including the date the assignment was assigned and the total points the assignment was out of. Let's return back to the grades menu to see how this differs from a standard space gradebook. In the case of a standard space gradebook, rather than clicking on the semester grade, you can see the categories that make up a student's grade on the main grades page. Also, these categories, rather than being generic terms, are specific standards set by the teacher for the course and can give you a more detailed perspective on how the student is doing. At the top of a standard space gradebook, you will see CG, which stands for course grade. A standard space gradebook is on a four-point scale rather than the traditional 100-point scale you might be used to seeing. In this student's case, they are receiving a 3.87 out of 4 in Italian. This number might be tricky to interpret, but if you scroll down, you will see the semester grade, which will be on the A through F scale you are used to seeing. In between the course grade and the semester grade, you will see a number of standards, all out of four, each having a unique label and description. These standards are broken down into parent and child standards. Parent standards have a label starting with PS, and child standards have a label starting with CS. Each child standard is assigned to a specific parent standard. You can tell which child standards are assigned to which parent standards by the labels and location of the standard. All child standards for a specific parent standard will be listed below the corresponding parent standard and will be listed using the same label number used in the parent standard. In this case, vocabulary, idea building, comprehension, and accuracy are all child standards of the presentational communication parent standard. Child standards are averaged together to form the parent standard, and parent standards are averaged together to form the overall grade. If you click on any of the standards or the semester grade, you will be taken to a more detailed grade screen where you can view the specific assignments that make up each child standard. For instance, if we want to view the assignments that make up the idea building child standard, we can expand the summative menu by clicking the plus symbol. We can now see the assignments that fall under the standard, the due date for each assignment, and the score the student received on that assignment out of four. It's important to note that some assignments may fall under multiple standards, especially larger projects and tests. Just like in a traditional gradebook, you can click on an individual assignment to view specifics about that assignment, including when it was assigned and what standards it falls under. As you can see, this particular assignment falls under multiple standards, including vocabulary, idea building, comprehension, and accuracy. If we return back to the gradebook page and click on the I next to the course grade, we can view more details about how the grade is calculated, including how the scores are averaged, and the cutoff grade for each grade letter. You can see in this instance, A's go all the way from 4.0 all the way down to 3.4. B's go from 3.39 all the way down to 2.7, and so on. Most standard space gradebooks are fairly similar, but will differ in the labels and descriptions used, and the standards might be averaged differently. Please consult your student's syllabus on specifics for how the course grade is calculated.
For instance, if we compare Math 2 to Italian, you'll notice they use slightly different labels. Math uses competencies rather than parent standards, and the labels used reflect this difference. But in terms of viewing your students' assignments in Infinite Campus, everything else will be the same. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have specific questions about your student's grade, please contact the teacher directly and they would be happy to explain things in more detail.